$1,000 worth of stolen snakes have been found, and the owner of the exotic pet shop says it's a customer who's suspected of taking the one-of-a-kind animals over the weekend. That store owner is speaking only to WOWT6 News tonight about what his next step will be to ensure the expensive snakes will live, and Don Grenice has more. This one here is one of my favorites. He's glad to have them back to his safe care after being found an hour away in Harlan, Iowa. Being stuck in a freezer, they won't live very long. That's essentially how this thief stored the snakes during the robbery. He snatched up the serpents, each priced upwards of one to two thousand dollars, and put them in with frozen mice. It's not hard for those snakes to get sick, especially around cold. At first, the amateur move caught on surveillance cameras made it seem like the thief didn't know much about snakes. After I watched it the second time, I knew who it was. So, oh, over the last six months, he was in here three, four days a week. He gave police a name and they did the rest. Don says the man had recently picked out a snake that he wanted to buy from him. He took his snake. Wait, did he already pay for it? No, no, I was on layaway. Uh, okay. He thinks this thief wanted to skip some steps, starting his own snake business or hobby with some one of a kind animals. They were in this rack here. But now that he has them back, he says they'll be heading home with him to be quarantined until he knows they're healthy. As for the snake snatcher, Don thinks he could have spent his time doing something more productive. He, he, he spent a lot of time figuring out how to rob somebody. That suspect is in police custody on a warrant for a different crime and at this time hasn't been charged with this crime. So now those snakes are home and their owner says they're in need of some warming up. He'll monitor them, but it looks like they're all healthy pretty much for the most part. So, John, I did actually get to hold one of those uh, right after they handed them over from the police. It felt a little chilly. <laughs> well, you're one of the few people that's held a $1,000 snake in their hands, too. Yeah, it felt weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Don.